Hi, this Bank app is a front-end application. I use, used React to create this application. As you can see from the top, I leverage Bootstrap left bar to navigate through pages. And on the left bar, when the mouse move on the create account, we can see there's a tour tip to show some if a short message below the create account link, create account button. And after we click this create account button, the create account was highlighted with red background color. And this login button also, after we click it, it was highlighted. And when we when the mouse was hovered over the button, there's a tour tip message. Okay, so let's go to the home page again. On the home page, we can see the bank name, a welcome message, and some introduction of the home page. Then we go to create account page. On create account page, we can see there's some input fields, the name, email address, and password. And there's a button create account, but it was disabled at the beginning. After we key in the name, for example, uh, Bob, an uh, email address, bob at gmail.com and the password one two three four five six seven eight we created a account successfully so if we go to all data we can see this bob's account has been created in this app i use a uh, context to store all the data so let's go back to create account again let's try the validate of the input if we don't key in anything all the input fields are empty this one create account button it disabled but if we put some content like If we key, uh, if all the input fields are not empty, then this button was enabled. And if we just uh, submit the account like this, there will be some error message. Email address may be too short. So I make it longer. If the name may be uh, only one character, see, the name is less than two characters. So the name should be at least two characters. And the email address should be at least six characters. And then let's submit our password is less than eight characters. So I key in eight as password then create account okay the account was successfully updated then i can add another account so this is a create account page then let's go to login page because in this app i have initially a uh, set four accounts let's go to all data we can see from here the first four accounts was initially set in the program. So we have this account, push one and the password. Maybe I can use this account to log in. Okay, so I initially set the name and password. The I key in, the I submit. Okay, so the account has been logged in. If the account was locked in, then we can go to deposit page. 
on the deposit page, firstly, we can see the balance of this account is 100. See, let's go to all data to check. Yeah. Which one's balance is 100. Okay, then we can deposit some money into it. For example, let's deposit it. Then submit. You have successfully de deposit a dollar. Then go to all data to check. Yeah, now the balance is 108. And the balance on deposit page has been updated as well. It's 108. Now let's uh, test the validation of the amount. If we key in a letter here, A, then deposit. Amount is not a number, okay? Then if we key in a negative number, say negative one, deposit. Say amount is negative or zero, so it's not correct. And this button, if we if the input is empty, the button is disabled. After we key in a number like five, the button was enabled. So this is a deposit page. Then let's go to withdraw page. Now we can see the balance is 108. If we key in a number, maybe it's 20, then withdraw. You have successfully withdraw 20. The balance is 88 now. If we key in a letter here, say, or uh, some uh, signs, special signs, okay. Then amount is not a number. Or if we key in a negative number here, amount is negative or zero. Okay. And if we key in a number, maybe it's great than the balance, say 100. Then let's withdraw. Balance is not enough. Okay. The error message will disappear in three seconds and uh, this input field will be reset as well. Okay, so let's go to all data page. In this page, all the account information has been have been listed here. We use a, a bootstrap card to display each account. And as you can see before here, all this deposit page with straw page, we all use the uh, bootstrap card to display the information. And all the information here, we store the all these accounts in context. And after the user login, we also put the login information, the login ID in context as the property name is login ID. And all the user's information was stored in context as the property name is users. So we can reuse all the data, all the data in this app. In each page, the context is accessible. So this is a bank app.